Hi friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Susanna and in this video I'll be showing you how to highlight and contour using the curves adjustment layer as opposed to using the dodge and burn tools that come with Photoshop. If you're wondering how I got the skin of the model to look this way, check out the link in the top right corner which will direct you to my high-end skin retouching tutorial. You can follow the steps over there and then come back to this video and continue your edit if you want. I really prefer using this method because you're working with the actual colors and tones of the skin which will help in making the image appear very natural. If you hang around until the end of the video, I'll do a quick speed edit using the dodge and burn tools provided in Photoshop and you'll be able to tell the difference. On the screen right now I've got the frequency separation group and I'll be working on top of it. But if you've got just your background layer open, go ahead and hit Ctrl J and make a copy of your layer. I've gotten accustomed to always making a copy of my background so that no matter what I'm working on, I won't destroy my original image. Go to the adjustment layer and select curves twice. Hold Shift, select both layers and drag them down to the group making icon and create a group. Label your group, dodge and burn. Go to the top layer and label it dodge as this will be your highlighting layer. Then go to the second layer and label it burn as this will be your contour layer. Back to the dodge layer, go to the pointing hand and select this tool. We're going to use it to click and drag in the image to modify the curve. We'll be doing this action on both layers and we're basically just making the light tones of the skin lighter and the dark tones darker. I know a lot of people like to select the most highlighted area of the face to do this, but I actually prefer to go for a more medium light tone as I don't like blowing out my highlights too much. I'm going for this spot in between the nose and the cheekbones which is getting some nice light and I'm going to drag the cursor up, all the way up until the entire image is brightened. Don't worry, it won't stay like this. Select the layer mask of the curves adjustment layer, hit Ctrl I and this will invert the mask changing it from white to black and making it invisible. Go to your burn layer next and we're gonna do the same thing. Select the pointing hand, go to your image and select the shadow area. Click and drag your cursor down until the entire image darkens. Select the layer mask of the curves adjustment layer, hit Ctrl I and this will invert the mask changing it from white to black and making it invisible. Now that I have the setup done, I'll be using the brush tool and I'll be painting with white. Conversely, if you make mistakes and you want to remove some of the brightening, just paint with black instead of white and that will remove the dodge from your image. Back to the brush tool, keep your opacity and flow around these values and choose a soft brush with zero hardness. Remember that on the dodge layer, you'll only be working on the highlighted areas of the face and on the burn layer, only in the shadows. I'm going to start working on all the highlights including brightening the eyes, the hair, torso and hands. And then I'll be doing the same thing on the burn layer. Don't worry if it starts looking crazy highlighted and contoured because at the end we'll be turning the opacity down on all those layers. Time for the speed edit.
now that all that work is done, it's time to turn down the opacity on all the layers, including the entire group itself. It's really a matter of your own personal choice. You can go as bold or as low key as you want with the results. I like to turn down the opacity in my layers to around 50% and then do the same for the whole group. It's time now for the speed edit using the dodge and burn tools that come with Photoshop so that we can make a comparison and see the differences. Notice how in the entire edit, the highlights are actually lightening towards a murky grey tone and the contour is turning straight up orange. Even if I lower the opacity, it still doesn't look right because the tones are off. The downside to the dodge and burn tools is that they always oversaturate your image. Using the curves adjustment layers will brighten or darken your image while maintaining the same tones that are in the image. That's it really to highlighting and contouring. It's a simple process that gives you really nice results without being overly complicated. So, thank you so much for watching and please consider hitting that subscribe button before exiting this video. Take care!